All right, what is up everybody? Today we're going to be doing a Patreon run from It's Me. We're going to be doing four card GDI. Um, so these two tech units are not in our deck. I think these four is probably the best core you can do. Like you, you It's possible this 10 cost unit should be a predator tank um, and you just open missiles. That might be slightly better. Uh, I'm not sure to be honest. I feel like, I, I think Ren's are just way too expensive, Jeffrey. Like, you go dog, and then you'd have to wait for 100 to switch into infantry. Just seems not good. I'm not really a fan of that. Um, the best actual four-card deck to play, I think, is Missile, MG, Dog, Pitbull. But then you just play No-Half, MG, which, because No-Half, MG is basically a four-card deck anyway. Like, you play Rifles as well, but it's, like, basically a four-card deck. Um, so, yeah, we're going to try this. We're going to try these four. I think it probably will be decent. Maybe we'll play Predator. Maybe we'll play Predator um, instead of uh, Three, instead of Dog. Two, we'll have to wait and see. One. New objective received. Harvester ready. Fund one four three. We've got a buggy opening. Buggy is probably decent against us. Buggy tank is definitely something we can't beat. There's like a tank to kill pitbulls and buggy to kill missiles. Like we have no outs at that point. But maybe it should just be predator. Like I don't know how valuable opening the 10 cost dogs even is. Like in a four card deck, obviously in, in a six card deck you always want to have a 10 cost unit because they're so good. But when you're down two units, I'm not sure you have room for that extra, for that valuable 10 cost unit. That feels like the thing you probably need to give up on. Also, because we're playing a sniper deck, um, the other map is way better for us. Like, there's two maps in this event. This one is trash. The other one is very good for us. So our win will our win rate will also uh, our win rate will, will vary dramatically depending on whether we get this map or the other map. Again, when you're playing like a four card deck, you need to play like a, a strong combined arms thing. You can't. You can't afford to have a deck that's good on an open map if you're playing four cards. There's Chuggy and Buggy. What the fuck, man? This guy's deck looks insanely good against me. Except that he's playing double half, so we might just win before he gets to whatever his other units are. Even just the three units we've seen should be enough to beat us. I don't, I'm not really making the dogs either. I don't think the dogs are good. I think I'm gonna cut the dogs. I'd much rather have like a predator tank here. Alright, that was close. If we lose that missile, I think we're in a lot of trouble. Enemy base destroyed. Three, two, one. New objective available. Right, I guess we're gonna open missiles because we switch to Predator. I think I think Sniper probably makes the most sense for a four card GDI. Well, I mean, like I said before, missile uh, MG is actually gonna be the best. But I think that Sniper Sniper can handle a lot of stuff with only four cards because Sniper is so strong. Nice, nice bike squadron there. Another buggy player. This time we have the mighty Predator tank to help us out. This map is way better for us as well. Because obviously snipers are insane on this map. We're pretty good so far. Not sure what the rest of his deck is though. We've only seen like bike, bike buggy, bike buggy laser at the moment. We're gonna get pop capped on these garbage lasers as well or missiles. Yeah, the second half. So obviously the rest of his deck is gonna be like triple, triple garbage tech unit or something. Flamers. 
probably just switch to a front line with pickles instead of missiles. This game looks pretty over though. I think you can get through before the game ends. See if we can get the harvest as a cementar victory. Oh, hold on. There we go. Easy, got the half. Easy win. You are victorious. Three, two, one. New objective received. Ready to collect. Harvester here. At least a hundred dollars. <laughs> Ten pounds? No, I'm not gonna do it for ten pounds. Not worth it. One pound per game to pot cap people. I'd actually rather jump out my window. What the hell? Two MGs? That's not good for me. I only have snipers that kill infantry. So we're going to need to pop these MGs as they try and move. And shocks. MG shock. Okay, this guy's a monster. This guy has confirmed a monster. Gonna get a vehicle to tank the MG. Oh my god, what the fuck? Well, that was unexpected. This guy really doesn't like infantry. Unit ready. Good job, Predator. Get one shot off and then just try and catch it to save your life. Friends! Oh my god, what is this deck? Okay. <laughs> uh, close game. The difference in my quality of deck based on the map is pretty shocking. Okay, I have no idea what this guy's deck was. That was pretty wild. MG Shock Gren Shatterer Missile. He picked every unit as a meme. He really did. If he had Sling as his last unit, and he had Liang, yeah. If he had Sling as his last unit, and then only missiles. I guess he had missiles and shocks, they're not a meme. He did have Sling as his last unit. He actually was playing meme deck. Oh my god. New objective available. Are calling. Building online. We haven't had anyone open rifles against us yet, which is good because that's a nightmare scenario when you open missiles. Unit ready. Classic, classic high tier bike rushing here. Good stuff. Good stuff. My missiles are so slow. He actually has rifles but didn't open them. What a mad lad. The buggy again? Why does everyone have such a good deck against me? I guess not that last guy. That last guy didn't have a good deck against anyone. Giga Cannon. Okay. Truly one of the most obnoxious units in Rivals. That is definitely a bad matchup for me. I don't have anything that kills Giga Cannon. Alright. <laughs> They're coming from every side, that's how you get the Giga Cannon. 
Let's attack from every angle all at once. Oh, he just surrenders. All right, got him. Enemy base destroyed. Three, two, one. New objective received. Drop fire. Building online. Uh, you are welcome to find other other streamers, Gary. Other streamers available. Flamers. This is a very bad map for me. These these two maps are so disparate in nature. It's quite difficult to have a deck that's good on both these maps. Come on, snipers, get on with it. It's taking so long. I'm gonna sick pitbull micro now. So strong. Bit of predator, I guess. Although this map is uh, not really ideal for a predator tank. Pretty tough map to be a predator tank on. This is what I hate about playing snipers. You can literally have an anti-vehicle unit like guarding the sniper, and a vehicle can still force your sniper to run to the back of the map. Like, what? What am I supposed to do to stop those fucking wheels? Like, a predator isn't good enough. It's ridiculous. I'll chase down this inferno. If it gets to fire again, I'm in trouble. It looks like it's going to. That's really bad for me. And some random wheels tucked my snipers, and now they're dead. Like two wheels just touch my snipers, so now they're dead. What's in my. Oh, I was gonna say what's in my air tower, and there was actually have a tech lab with units I can't play. So never mind. Alright, we got him. We got that. It's not hard to win with TDI, man, like compared to Nod. It's kind of ridiculous. Mission accomplished. Three, two, one. New objective available. Building online. Unit ready. Oh, missile opening from our opponent. Strong, strong stuff. Unit ready. I don't want to be mean, but like the level of the level of bad to just open like missiles first and walk to your opponent's harvester is like that's the kind of play you make when you can't get out of gold lead. I feel like people people who maybe 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 that's not true. Maybe maybe it's only Tiberium League players that don't do that. But I feel like. <sighs> I feel like anyone, anyone in Tiberium League would never, never do that. And only people who struggle to make Tiberium League would even consider making a play like that. Look at the other slightly annoying thing about snipers. You can have a sniper squadron. And then they can just make more shots than you can kill. Like, it's not very efficient for my opponent. But he can just keep making shot troopers, and it takes too long for me to kill them. So I don't really make progress on the map. Like, look at this. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to clear this one pad. And I spend, I spend all my time just killing new shot troopers. So I can never actually even kill these missiles. Obviously he's like spewing a lot of cash doing that, but... 
It is annoying to be on this side and just not be able to get through. Oh my god, what a beating. What a beating. The pit will beat my missile trooper. Why don't you attack my father to some more? How do you have so much money, bro? This is like the fifth fifth shock squad you've lost without doing anything. How are you not just broke? You can make two snipers because the map is so bad for sniper. I need a sniper at the top and the bottom. I guess I could just completely focus on the bottom, but then I can't do anything about my harvester. Wow, this guy, I don't, I don't get it, man. I don't get it. <laughs> he's killed nothing. Like, he's killed like no units this game, and yet he's not struggling to cash at all. Like making an APC. Making two APC. I guess I have 200 Tiberium. It's another another issue with rivals, right? When you when you're winning by a lot, there's nothing you can do. Like you can't turn your massive lead into an actual win because there's nothing I can do with my extra money. Classic rivals. Classic rivals. Wait, the game isn't over. Oh, I lost the first missile, didn't I? Fuck. Also, my sniper's just bugged out. You know what, man? You should kill my harvester so I don't have a, have a pop cap invested in harvester anymore. It's been such a stupid game. At least I get a free pop cap back now. I'm losing my harvester. That feels pretty good. It's like all you can do with excess money is just let your opponent kill a harvester. And then you don't even have that much more of an economy lead because then they get an extra 80. Objective this game could like actually really use a delete button. That would be really nice. Just like a button so you can delete your own units. Like the way PopCap works is so stupid. You actually need like a way to delete your own units. Three, two, one. New objective received. Ready to collect. Building online. Unit ready. Missions ready to launch. Awaiting order. Buggy again? Why does everyone have Buggy, man? Buggy's so good. How am I supposed to beat Buggy? Oh, I'm definitely losing this missile. There's no way I can climb. There's no way I can grind through two buggies before the missile fires. Zero percent chance. Yeah, unsurprisingly, I did not come close to winning this missile. Nice iron cannon, bro! <laughs> there was no iron cannon. Actually, again, like, I need two snipers, because mutants take too long to kill. It takes so many shots to kill a mutant squad. Kind of ridiculous. Country grinds to play <laughs> to play with four units. Comes another fucking buggy. Buggy too strong. This really is just like such a good example of what it's like to play snipers. Like you play snipers and you get like good exchanges constantly and you just can't kill your opponent's units quickly enough. Especially when they have things like mutants. You're like, alright, I've got snipers and they're too ranged and my opponent can't reach them, but I just can't kill his stuff. Like it doesn't matter that he doesn't kill my stuff, because I just cannot kill his things in time. It takes so long to kill anything. 
Like, if they have heavy infantry, snipers just take so long to kill it. Oh god, bro, stop. Stop making mutants, please. I can't, literally cannot kill them. Literally just cannot kill these mutants. They take an hour to die. I'm gonna lose the game because I cannot kill mutants. Yep, I just snipe. I just cannot kill these mutants with snipers. I just can't do it. They take too long to die. Oh, that's insane, man. Actually insane. This has been destroyed. Three, two, one. New objective available. Thanos. Building online. Two S's. Unit ready. Nothing kills mutants. Well, I mean, some things kill mutants, but snipers are not it. Flames and Shocks do an okay job against mutants. Snipers, snipers take too long. I actually think snipers should kill a mutant per volley. I think it's ridiculous that it takes like five shots to kill a mutant model. I'm not saying snipers are bad, Quasar. I'm saying mutants are stupid. It's not snipers that I have a problem with, it's the mutants. Unit ready. Ready for action. Awaiting orders. You got it? The map is really bad for wheels and lasers. All maps are really bad for wheels and lasers these days. Wheels and lasers is just not, not good anymore. Hasn't been good for a while. There's too many chuggies around is the problem, and you just auto lose to chemical buggy. Unit ready. What I don't understand is how I can make one sniper squad kill three flamers and be out of money. And my opponent still has money, that's what confuses me. Like, how can I make a 50 cost unit, use it to kill 120 cost of enemy infantry, and still be out of money? Whilst my opponent has clearly has no problems, like, he's still making 40 cost units. Like, where is my extra money going? What, what? <laughs> I don't understand where my, where my spare money, I don't understand why I'm broke. Now he's making an air tower and a 70 cost unit. Like, how is he this far ahead of me in Tiberium? When I've killed like four or five oh here's two harvesters, okay never mind. Never mind. That is the answer to my question. Come on man, kill the shade, kill the shade, kill the shade, kill the shade, kill the shade. Thank you. Thank you, game. Unit lost. Enemy base destroyed. Three, two, one. New objective received. Building online. Unit ready. Good mood. Definitely not mindless puppet. Snipers need better shot efficiency. I just mean against mutants. I think snipers, like against light infantry, like lasers, missiles, and rifles, snipers are kind of insane anyway. So I think that's fine. I think they're also like pretty good against flamers and shocks. I haven't really got a problem with their matchup there either. It's literally just mutants. Mutants and maybe chems are the only time when snipers like really just aren't good enough. And if you have snipers as your as your anti-infantry, then you have not you, you're not going to play anything else. You're not going to have like sniper razor back. That would be complete nonsense. Like, Sniper will be your heavy anti-infantry if you're playing Sniper, so if you can't kill ever other heavy infantry with your Snipers, then they're useless. So it's just, it's just those two units where I think there's an issue. And really, I'm not even sure Chems is an issue, but it's just Mutant. Mutant just takes too long to kill the Sniper. Ready to fight. Unit ready to 
Yeah, go get my hog. I'll, uh, I'll sort you out. It's a shame if the game was over after you killed it, though, wouldn't it? And you wouldn't be able to use that juicy AT Tiberium. Well, he got the harvester, and as we all know, that instantly wins you the game. So, congrats, J Dog! <laughs> you fucking got me! You are victorious. Your main role of nerfing mutants is their important unit role for Nod. Three, two, one. New objective available. Building online. MSD Shatter is pretty common combo, mindless puppet. It's like actually just very normal. If you're going to play an MSV, you almost always have a Shatterer with it. Oh, missiles to the half, big fan. You got it. Double missiles to the half, what could go wrong? Wow, and flames? There's no way he has a harvester, surely, if he's gone missile, missile, flame. Actually, maybe. Maybe he does. Yeah, I guess he could have done. I have missile, missile, sniper. That's basically the same. Laser drones against sniper missile. Okay. It's a novel plan. I, I, got, some, I got some respect for that play. You know, like, it's definitely, definitely brave. It's definitely brave. And this is why you have to play vehicle blockers for your snipers. Because otherwise your opponent will just make flamers and get through. I don't want him to kill my harvester here. I feel like it's pretty easy to save it, so might as well. Man, I really wish I had, like, something else <laughs> in my deck. I really wish I wasn't playing four units. Just something I could make that isn't Sniper to try and fight these Flamers would be super nice. Because I really don't want to go double Sniper. <laughs> the curse of the Sniper once again. <laughs> <laughs> genuinely quite difficult. His guys are basically only made infantry as well. It's just genuinely quite difficult to grind through all the infantry with my snipers. Maybe I should have made two sniper in that matchup. Objective complete. Well, we're done. Nine one. Which one did we lose? Uh, we lost to. What did we lose to? We lost to mutant. Yeah, we just couldn't kill mutants in time. We had like, like mutant buggy, we just couldn't beat. I feel like I should be able to win that matchup, especially on that map. Is this one? Yeah, I think I should be able to win this matchup on this map. If I had like a 10 cost unit, I think I would have won. But the amount you lose, the amount of map control you lose by going missile sniper as your first two units, just never recovered from that. I think without, if we have a 10 cost unit like dogs, I think we could have win this pretty easily. Like we open dogs, then we make a predator, we get predator with snipers, that beats his whole deck pretty much. Maybe two snipers, two predators, probably beats the whole deck. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the four card GDI, and I will see you all next time.